Now, in inelastic collision, energy is lost, but momentum is conserved. So for the first case, where two bodies with different mass and different velocity collided and began to move with common velocity, the loss of energy is simply the kinetic energy before collision minus the kinetic energy after collision. Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and welcome to my physics class. Today, I'll be taking you through a uh, collision and what happens to momentum and kinetic energy before and after collision. Before then, what is collision? Collision is simply a phenomenon that occurs when two bodies come in contact. For example, if I hit this on the board or I bounce a ball on the floor or a car hits a wall. So all these things or all these phenomena are collision. Collision can be elastic or inelastic. Elastic collision is a collision in which the body remains the same before and after collision. What does that mean? If you hit, if you bounce a ball on the floor, the bodies, the ball and the floor remains the same before and after collision. Another thing is uh, atoms, the movement of atoms and the movement of uh, billiard balls. These are elastic collision. Why? The bodies remain the same before and after collision. And in that case, we say that uh, momentum and kinetic, en and kinetic energy or momentum and energy is conserved. This means that the momentum before collision is equals the momentum after collision and there is no energy loss. Momentum is simply the product of a body's mass and velocity. And Newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum of a body is proportional to the force applied and takes place in the direction of the force. And from that law, we're able to derive that force is equals mass times acceleration, which means force is equals mv2 minus v1 over time. So this is change in momentum. Change in momentum is simply the final momentum minus initial momentum. This is change in momentum. And remember that change in momentum is also equals impulse. Now, We've known elastic collision, momentum, impulse, and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is simply energy a body possesses due to motion. And kinetic energy is simply half mv squared. So mass times velocity squared over 2. Inelastic collision is a type of collision in which energy is lost. Momentum is conserved, but there is loss of energy. So when a collision leads to loss of energy, that collision is inelastic. Now, let's take a look at uh, different cases of collision and how their momentum is calculated before and after impact and how to calculate their energy. All right, take a look at case one. In this case, look at this body. Before collision, the body, it has its own mass and its own velocity is moving. This body, M2, with its own velocity v2 are moving. Now, this is before collision. After collision, the body uh, came in contact, they collided, and they began to move with one velocity. So just like this is here, this is here, the other one comes to collide with here, then they begin to move with a common velocity. And recall that momentum is simply mass times velocity. This implies that the momentum of this body before collision is simply mass 1 times V1 and that of this other body is plus M2 V2 because momentum of a body is the product of its mass and velocity. Before collision, momentum of this guy is M1 times V1 and the momentum of this guy is M2 plus V2. So their total momentum is M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Now, after collision, after collision, look at what happens. They both retained the same, uh, their mass, 
M1 remains the same. The second ball he has is own mass. However, they have common velocity. So there's no longer V1 and V2. After collision, the body begins to be momentum of the first body becomes M1 times V because there is common velocity. Plus, the second body retains its mass, which is M2, and its velocity is still V because they have common velocity. So time V. This means before collision, momentum M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equals factorizing this because they have common velocity we pick one of the velocity and this becomes m1 plus m2 so the common the velocity is simply if you are looking for the common velocity they are moving with it will simply be velocity is equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2 all over m1 plus m2 so that's momentum before and after collision how about kinetic energy? Kinetic energy Ke is simply half mv squared. This will imply that the kinetic energy before collision is here half m1, this m1, then v1 squared. Because in kinetic energy, we square the velocity and we divide every uh, velocity and mass over 2 plus. Kinetic energy here becomes half m2 v2 square equals. Now remember that the velocity is uh, still remains, which will be m1 v square plus m2 v square half half. So in that case, this becomes half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square is equals. Take here and here v square over 2 m1 plus m2 or v m1 over 2 m2 over 2. So if you want to uh, take uh, v square out, we can simply make v square to become half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square over half m1 plus half m2 which you can factorize the half out of them to make your equation easier so this is this can become the square root of this so this is how to calculate momentum before and after collision when two body collides and they move with common velocity so let's look at another case all right uh, take a look at this second case Look at this. Before collision, the first body or the first object was moving with its own velocity. However, the second body was stationary, which means velocity is equals zero. After collision, both bodies gone and they began to move with the same velocity. Now, how do we calculate momentum before and after collision? Before collision, the momentum is simply m1 v1 plus for the second body it becomes m2 times 0 0 v2 because v2 is equals 0 after collision the, uh, they now move with the same velocity this means momentum after collision is simply m1 v plus m2 v m2 times 0 is 0 so before collision we just have m1 v1 is equals with the common velocity v m1 plus m2 therefore the common velocity is equals m1 v1 over m1 plus m2 so that is it for body colliding when one body was initially initially stationary before the collision and kinetic energy for this body will simply be half m1 v1 square and here kinetic energy is zero because velocity is zero so here becomes zero is equals kinetic energy after collision will simply be half m1 v square plus half 
m to v square because after collision the second body now begins to move with the same velocity as the first body so this will give us half m1 v1 square is equals v square half m1 plus half m2 so which is v square is equals v is equals the square root of half m1 v1 square over half m1 plus half m2 so from here you can simplify divide do whatever you want to do then you solve so this is momentum and energy after and before collision when one body was in a stationary the other body collides with it and they both move with common velocity now look at case three for case three the body the first object was moving this way and the second body was moving in opposite direction for what we solved in case one they were moving in the same direction in case two one was stationary while the other was moving but in this case the two bodies are moving in opposite direction what will be the momentum before collision momentum before collision will simply be m1 v1 minus m2 v2 why the negative sign because they are moving in different direction so we need to subtract their momentum and how about after collision after collision they stuck together and began to move in the same direction with a common velocity the momentum simply becomes m1 v plus m2 v so this remains the momentum after collision but before collision we subtract their momentum they move in different direction so this simply becomes v m1 plus m2 so m1 v1 is equals m2 v2 the common velocity is simply m1 v1 plus m2 v2 over m1 plus m2 how about their uh, kinetic energy kinetic energy before collision is simply half m1 v square plus half m2 v2 square is equals half m1 v square plus half m2 v square which you can simplify from here so now that we've been able to solve uh, for momentum before and after collision kinetic energy before and after collision how about loss of energy because in elastic collision no energy is lost but for inelastic collision energy is lost now in inelastic collision energy is lost but momentum is conserved so for the first case where two body with different mass and different velocity collided and began to move with common velocity the loss of energy is simply the kinetic energy before collision minus the kinetic energy after collision and we've already solved for kinetic energy before collision and after collision is simply to subtract them for case two the loss of energy is simply the kinetic energy before collision minus kinetic energy after collision which we've also solved to get this we after before collision we got this and after collision we got this for the third case where two bodies moving opposite direction collided we we solved and we got the kinetic energy before collision we also got the kinetic energy after collision so the loss of energy is simply kinetic energy before collision minus kinetic energy after collision so that's that on elastic and inelastic collision and what happens to momentum and energy before and after collision in different cases thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos